It was early dawn on the day before Christmas. The city was still asleep. That is, most of the city was still asleep. Others were already up and about their business. The story you are about to see is true. I know. It happened to me. I can't tell you where or when it happened. There are still people around, people who never forget, and I'd like to keep on living. My name, let's just say it's Casey Martin. What's the matter? Ow! I'll drive him around when he wakes up. See you tonight at Louis' place. I didn't know it yet, but this was going to be my big day, my big opportunity, my Christmas present, December 24th, a day I'll never forget. Take it easy, will you, Jack? Excuse me, miss. How many times I gotta tell you, Casey, you don't start fights in here? Oh, shut up, Louie. Shut up, he said. Try to bust a joint up and tells me to shut up. Come on. Come on. Christmas. Mary Bond. The only trouble with you is you know too much about psychiatry. You have to. Otherwise, you develop little mental blocks and things. Here comes a couple of live ones. What do you want? What do you want? You. Why? I'll tell you all about it. Come on. Land of the free. Too free for some of us. When the boys from the Treasury Department pick you up, believe me, it's no ordinary two-bit pinch. When the government steps in, you're in trouble. Real trouble. I had that all-gone feeling right in the middle of my stomach. The feeling that the roof had caved in and there wasn't much use of trying to dig my way out. What is this? You're Casey Martin? That's right. How much time have you served, Mr. Martin? Nine years. Why? 
Sit down. I ask you to sit down, Mr. Martin. Leavenworth, three years, three months. Back again, two years, six months. Atlanta, four years. Now you're out two weeks and you're in trouble again. What do you mean? Well, the four-time loser can spend the rest of his life in prison, Mr. Martin. What are you driving at? So? That's your brand? I mix them up. Oh? Why? We found this package at the spot where a truck was hijacked. Well? We found your fingerprints on the package. That's a lie. Send in Mr. Sears. Do you recognize this man, Mr. Sears? Take off your hat. He's one of them. Thank you. You can go. Well, that's it, Mr. Martin. What do you intend doing about it? What can I do? After a man reaches a certain age, there's only one way he can break loose from the underworld. He's got to blast himself loose with a big bang. Make a big move. Burn all his bridges. Turn his life upside down if necessary. What do you mean? We want you to work with us. You've been in trouble all your life. We're offering you a chance to break clean. What are you talking about? We're giving you an opportunity to get yourself killed. Look, you know the mobs, how they operate. One strong, ruthless man can tie a syndicate together. He pushes the buttons and pulls the strings, and all over the nation his vicious rackets are set in motion. He's a dictator. We're after one of those dictators. We want him bad. Who? Oh. Dutch Becker. Good luck. Put the finger on him and you're a free man. You're kidding. Am I? Listen, mister. I spent two extra years in stir because I wouldn't tell him who my partner was. I was brought up that way. I don't intend to change now. Look, you know Dutch Becker as well as I do. He has no conscience. He has no soul. It makes no difference to him if he destroys an individual or a family or a nation. And enough men like Becker could destroy a nation. You picked me up on a meatball charge. Why don't you pick him up? Because he's too smart. We can't prove a thing yet. His lawyers would have him out in 10 minutes. That's your problem. Yes, and it's a big one. Nine states big. We know that Becker is operating in at least nine states. California, Oregon, New York, New Jersey, Illinois, Minnesota, Missouri, Arizona, and Nevada. He gets his cut out of everything rotten that's sold. We want him. Let me show you something. Here's a girl, 17. Dead before she even started to live. 16. 20. There's a girl, 19. They found her in a trunk. She wanted to go home to her family, but the boys couldn't see it her way. The hospitals, jails, asylums, and morgues are full of human beings who were destroyed by men like Dutch Becker. You seen your sister lately? For sale? No, why? I just wondered. A man ought to keep in closer touch with his family. I haven't been around, remember? Yeah, we know. You can go now, Casey. Think it over. The rest of your life in jail is a long time. Let us know what you decide. We'll give you four hours. You're getting a break, Casey. Don't throw it away. Call getting myself killed a break? Drop over and see your sister, Casey. She won't be there tomorrow. Why? Just drop over and see her. She might help you make up your mind. It isn't often anyone gets a break like that. I was offered a clean bill of health, my freedom, a new start. All I had to do was put the finger on Dutch Becker. I'd been around long enough to know all there is to know about Dutch Becker. 
He was one of the biggest gamblers in the country. He was the kingpin in a nationwide illegal alcohol ring. He employed beautiful girls as escorts, hostesses, shills, and B-girls in his clubs and gambling houses. If they crossed him, they weren't very pretty to look at when he paid them. And he always did. This was the man they wanted me to double cross. I hadn't seen Lucille for a long time, but I remember that she loved the bottle. She loved the bottle more than life. Maybe she was on it again. How's your mommy? I think she's sleeping. She's sick, Casey. I've been trying to help her, but I'm scared, Casey. All right, sweetheart. All right. Okay. Junie? Junie? That's you, Junie? 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 Casey? Casey? Don't let him take me away, Casey. Don't let him take me away. Stupid fool. <laughs> up at Dr. Charles Joyce on East 4th Street. Then you call him up and you tell him your Uncle Casey Martin wants him to come over here right away. Can you do that? Okay, sweetheart. I don't know. I don't know. You gotta help me. I hurt so bad. Give me a drink, Casey, please. Yeah, I'll get you nothing. Listen, they say I'm crazy. They're gonna take Junie away from me. I'm not crazy. I'm not. What happened to you? Oh, don't, Casey, please. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Do you know Dutch Becker? <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. Do you know him? I used to be the prettiest girl ever worked for Dutch. You hear that, Casey? I used to be the prettiest girl ever worked for Dutch. I used to be proud. Now I got no pride. No looks. No nothing. What about your little girl? You've got her. What about her? Oh, don't, don't. Can't you see? It's killing me, Casey. Can't you see it? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Burton speaking. Yeah. Put him on. Casey. Good. Now what's that? Okay, Casey. We'll let your doctor handle it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. How's 10 in the morning? Fine. See you then. We've got our man. What am I, an orphan? Hi, Gladys. I got a gland for you. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good. Is that all you can see? What do you want me to do? Kiss you? You loaded. You might be able to say that. What are you folks on? Gladys. Scotch over. Nothing. Nothing. Nuts or something getting loaded today. Well, today is the day to get loaded, Lefty. Today is definitely the day. What are you talking about? It's a big day. It's a day to celebrate. Are you off your rocker? You all right? I'm all right. Look, Case. It's a big load coming through tonight. One home, take a bath, sober up, and we'll talk. Forget it. We're through. What? I said we're through. Why? Take a long trip, Lefty. Just take a long trip. Talk sense, will you, Case? Talk sense. I got a tip, and it's a good one. Just take a long trip. You on the level? There's one of two things that you can do. You can get out of here, or you can shut up and have a drink. Which one? I don't care. You coming with me? No. What? I said no. Okay, okay. Will I get in touch with you? No. What? I said don't. All right. Come on with me, Gladys. I'll buy a drink. You're buying them, Stan? You wouldn't be trying to pull a cross, would you, Case? Did you ever want me to double cross anybody? I want my money. Thanks. Happy holiday, folks. It's nice. Yeah. What's the matter with you tonight? Something bothering you? Bella told me something today. He said if I wanted to get any place, I'd have to make a big move. Burn my bridges behind me, turn my life upside down. That's what I'm going to do. How? You know Dutch Becker? How well do you know him? Why? want to meet him. Why do you want to meet him? Well, he knows how to make money. I want some of it. I don't like that kind of money, Casey. Spend. You spend it. Oh, forget Dutch Casey. You don't need him. Forget I talked to you.
nerves. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Anytime you say. What do you think? I think he'll show. I'll give him 15 more minutes. Then I'll put out a pickup on him. Hello, Casey. Hi. You know Johnny Cooper, Fred Amory, Dick Sullivan, Jim Rogers, Ted Wheelock, Al Chance, Frank Sallow, Bud Anderson. I've seen you before. Could be you'll see more of me. Did you ever meet Dutch? No. Well, he's shrewd and he's tough. Make no mistake about that. One bad move, and it may be your last. Yeah. You came from the same neighborhood, didn't you? Yeah, but uh, I, I don't know him. You have an important asset. Loyalty to your friends. They trust you. Mm-hmm. So what do I do? Can you fix a meet with him? Well, I think so. How? You know a girl named Gladys Baker. Well, I know she's made a few contacts for you. But she doesn't know it yet, but she fixes me with Dutch. Then you kill all your charges against her. Right? Right. Better build it up soft and slow, Martin. Get his confidence. Listen, Mr. Uh, Sullivan, is that right? That's right. Okay. Mr. Sullivan, I took this job. When I take a job, I do it right. You sure you can handle it? I'm not going to be sure of anything. What do you want me to get him on? That's up to you. It's wide open. Take your choice. Just be sure we can make it stick. Oh, and don't get any ideas about running out on us. We'll be watching you every minute. Yeah. All right. You're on your own, Casey. Good luck. Well, there it was, laid right in my lap. I come out clean, or I come out dead. The Treasury Department and the police were on my side. Against me, there was a big-time hoodlum by the name of Dutch Becker, and the entire underworld from coast to coast. There wasn't a gambler alive who'd make book with those odds. glad to hear from you. I thought you might have changed your mind about me. When can I meet Dutch? Why don't you forget him? I still don't like it. When can I meet him? Well, he has lunch every day at his torch club down on East 12th. Good. Now, you meet me there at 12.30 and you'll make like you got a date with me. But... Yeah, 12.30.
stuff will kill you, Dutch. Uh-uh. Keep me healthy. Give my friend a drink. Thanks. Scotch over rocks. Want something to eat? No, I've got a date. A fella grew up down here. Maybe you know him. Who's that? His name's Casey Martin. Yeah, I heard of him. You know him, Lou? Yeah. I saw him every day for four years at Atlanta. I don't like him. You don't like nobody? Nobody. Except you, Dutch. Yeah, except in me. You tell me that this Martin boy's pretty smart, knows how to keep his mouth shut. I'd like to meet him. Right? OK. Dutch. I like him. Don't ever tell him anything about me, please. I don't know what you're talking about. Thanks. Uh, Swiss cheese on rye and a glass of milk. Coming up. Bring him over. I will. Hudson? Hi. Make it good, he's here. to meet you. Nice company he keeps. Had enough? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Dutch? This is Casey Martin. Casey, Mr. Becker? Hi. Right. Sit down. kid around this neighborhood a couple of years back. I got along. What are you doing now? I get along. You got a good mouth. Keep it closed. Gladys said you wanted to see me. She did? Yeah. Why? Well, maybe just to prove that I'm not antisocial. Maybe I am. Come on, huh? I like you up to now. Don't spoil it. You know, Mr. For a long time, people were telling me what to say and what to do. Now I'm my own boss. Jack, have a drink for my friends. Not right now, thank you. Nice meeting you. Come on, honey. Off me. You trap. You're no good trap. So? Go sit down. It's a very beautiful flower. Yeah, beautiful. Carlos, you got no soul. Why is she here? Because she's going south with the tape, that's why. You're a stinking liar. Temper, temper. How do you know? Two reasons. Where else you get this kind of dope? So I say, did you pick eight? Please. And? And we got a beat from a customer. Claims he was rolled. Oh? Dutch, you know me better than that. Do I? Well, don't you? I'm not sure, Candy. I'm not sure at all. When I'm not sure, I worry. And I don't like to worry. Lou. Yeah, Where's she working? Top him. 
Get another girl over there. But, Dutch... And take her off the payroll for a while. Dutch, you can't do this. You better muss her face up a little bit so she can't work any place. No, Dutch... Dutch, I didn't cheat you. Honest, I didn't. You gotta believe me. Sure, I believe you. Almost. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe if you go hungry for a while, you'll remember that honesty's the best policy. Lou! You dirty rotten! It's too bad. It's too bad. People got to get greedy. Just got to get greedy. Any other business today? Carlos has got a surprise for you. This is Mary Smith, Dutch. Mary Smith, huh? <laughs> there are so many of you. That's really my name, Mr. Becker. Yeah, sure. Where are you from, Mary? Akron. That's in Ohio. Yeah, I know. How old are you? Twenty-one. That's good. That's good. Well, you're a very beautiful girl, Mary. Thank you, Mr. Becker. Carlos? Yeah, Dutch? Show her the ropes. Put her on over at the, uh, the topper. Get her some new clothes and, uh, surely we can find a better name than Mary Smith, huh? Thank you, Mr. Becker. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure, Mary. Remember this. I only ask two things, honesty and loyalty. I, I must have loyalty. Hmm? What's the deal, Casey? What do you mean? You're nervous. Nervous as a cat. So I don't sleep good nights. Now, when you asked me to have a drink with you, I was pretty happy. Now I don't know. All my life, I've had dreams. Not big ones. Just my share of the little things. Have someone like me. Really like me. Maybe even respect me. Someone I could take care of. Love. Well, I know I'm no bargain. I've been around plenty. I don't feel sorry for myself. Only sometimes I get the feeling there isn't any more time. There isn't going to be any tomorrow. Be nice to me, Casey. Please. Yeah. You know, we're two of a kind. You never got a break, I never asked for one. So here's to us. Win, lose, or draw. Here's to us. You mean it? Well, I don't know very much about being nice. But for you, I'll try. for both of us tonight, tomorrow, next week. You better remember that. We could go away, Casey. Forget Dutch. We'll go to another town. We'll start living. First thing you gotta learn is this. Win, lose, or draw, I call the play. Okay, Casey. 
You call the play. Matt Dutch. Seemed to like me. Make him love you. Live it up. Spend some money. You got any money? Interesting magazine. Look it over. How's Lucille? It's rough. <coughs> she wants to see you. Okay. Reads. Shows he thinks. I like a man who thinks. Hi, Dutch. Small world. Big Carlos Armour, Big Joe Walters. Hi. Can we give you a lift? No, thank you. I feel like walking. It's good. You guys ought to walk more. I like you. Maybe we do business. Maybe you come to work for me. Maybe. Come around and see me. We'll talk. He was so right. I'd be down to see him soon, real soon. I was going to stick closer to him than his breath. But first, I had to see Lucille. How you doing? You don't know. You don't know. Yes, I do. No, you don't know. You can't know. They're giving it to me all at once. Kill or cure. I don't know yet which way it's going. You're gonna be all right. How's Junie? Oh, she's fine. She's just fine. I'm scared, Casey. I'm scared. It's hell. There's no hell like it. None like it. You're gonna be all right. I promise you. Honey, I, I've got to go. The nurse said I could just stay long enough to say hello. Is there room in the world for people like us? Is there? There's plenty of room for all of us, Lucille. Almost all of us. If I get well, can we be together more? I need someone. I'm not strong, Casey. I need someone to help me. I'm gonna give you all the help you need. Maybe Dutch wasn't sure of me yet. Maybe Carlos and Big Joe talked him out of it. Anyway, he didn't repeat his offer of a job, but I built it slow and easy, just like the government boys told me to. I took my time and I waited. I got to know Dutch and his mob, and the better I knew them, the more I hated them. I'd lived my whole life with hoods. 
One thing they respect is guts. So I was going to give it to them in spades. You're two people, aren't you, Casey? Who isn't? <laughs> Who isn't? Well, they're all here tonight. The worst of them. Nice company we're keeping. Well, you don't go to church to make a fast buck. Where'd you get that halo all of a sudden? Halo? <laughs> Me? Oh, it's pretty funny. Oh, we're Penny Annie alongside this bunch. You with me or again me? Sorry, Casey. I'm just tired. Want me to take you home? I go when you go. Paderewski, yes. There's a very interesting young man. Gonna be a very useful man. What do you know about him, Dutch? Outside Gladys brought him down here. He's all right. I had him uh, screened, like they say. It's all right. I'll use him. Hello. Yeah? Yeah, Dutch? Bring him over. Take your hands off him. Of wants to see you. Tell him I'll be right over. Wallace wants to see you now. I told you to keep your hands off me. Break it up! Break it up! Put it away, Lou. Go on home, Lou. I'll talk to you later. I said go home, Lou. All right, back to your party. Right now. You, uh... You shouldn't cause trouble, Mr. Martin. You tell that moron to keep his hands off me. I don't take orders. I give them. Come on, we'll talk. Case, you've had a lot to drink. Let's go home. We'll talk tomorrow. We'll talk now. You come along. You can listen. Please. Sit down, Gladys. What are you trying to prove? That you're tough? I'm tough enough. Well, always remember one thing, Casey. There's, there's somebody tougher than you. Prove it. <laughs> well, maybe you're the exception. You know, I could do you a lot of good. You need me. Maybe you don't like me, but you need me. Well, but I do like you. But uh, what makes you think I need you? Well, you're a big man, Dutch. You need a big man around you, a strong man. You need me. Maybe you make sense. Uh, drink your drink. Don't you think you've had enough tonight? I can handle it. There isn't much I can handle. Aren't that you? Well, that's what you say. You got a big lip. Carlos, I drive you nuts, don't I? You can't figure me. And you, uh, Big Joe. You don't get me, do you? I don't want you. Keep talking, loudmouth. Oh! Hey! Spirit I like, trouble I don't like. If you're gonna work for me, there's one thing you gotta learn. There's no percentage in us fighting among ourselves, no percentage at all. I'm a very mild man, Casey. Violence I don't like, unless it's necessary. You think you can remember that? I'll try. Good. Meet me here tomorrow night. Now, go along home and get yourself a good sleep.
See you tomorrow. left. Do I tell him or stay here? Stay with him. He's alone? Uh, Gladys Baker's with him. Stick right with him. Check back in an hour. They go home? Yeah, I think so. Next morning, I had another meet with the Treasury man. The place was the Blue Gull Kitchen over on East 10th Street. So far, I was out in front, but I had a feeling that something was wrong. Somehow, I sensed it. They were waiting for me. Cooper, Amory, Sullivan, and Wheeler. This coffee, thank you. What's wrong? You see Jim Rogers last night? Yep. Where'd you see him last? Torch Club. Why? We just saw Mrs. Rogers. <laughs> so? We had to tell her that he was dead. Dead? How did they spot him? We don't know if they did. Maybe it was just an accident. Accident? I wish I knew how much they got out of him. Nothing, if I know Jim. Anyway, we've got to take that chance. Thank you. You want to quit now? No. All right. How'd you make out? I got to meet with Dutch tonight. I think I demonstrated that I can handle myself. He'll go for me. Good. When we move in, I don't want to guess. I want to know. I want to smash the whole rotten ring at once. You'd better. Anything else? That's all for now. Bad. No, honey, it... Look, Gladys, I told you before, it won't be long. Whatever happens, it won't be long. Just... Just get out of town and stay there until I send for you. When do you think that'll be? Soon. Oh, don't kid yourself, Casey. Once you start with Dutch Becker, you're in it as long as he wants now, you. Don't argue with me. Casey, I, I can't let you do it. I'm not going to let you make money this way. That's why I wanted to meet with Dutch. You knew that. I know, but... I like you too much. I can't let you do it. Casey, you'll learn to hate yourself. Someday this will destroy you. Oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't. Well, I'll tell you something. I know plenty. I can tell the cops plenty about Dutch Becker. I'll blow the whistle and blow this whole set up sky high. Shut up, Gladys. Don't, Don't tell me to shut up. I know what I'm talking about. I worked for Dutch.
I worked for Dutch for a long time. Please get out of town and stay there. do anything to hurt you, Casey. Hi, Jack. Touch in. Nobody's out. No, that's funny. I was supposed to meet him here. Try the warehouse? Should I? Yeah, he called. Told me to send you over there. Where is it? Third Avenue and Second Street, 207. Buy a drink? It's bad enough to have to look at it. This was the beginning or the end or both. You could take your pick. It was even money any way you looked at it. Once I walked down that alley and into that warehouse, there was no turning back. The warehouse was as dark and as still as death. I had a choice. Life in prison or the very good chance of a bullet in the head. I had no future either way. I know now how a condemned man feels when he takes that last long walk to the little door at the end of the hall. Got a cool head now, I hope. Yeah, cool enough. I want you two to knock it off. I need you both. Well, I got along. Won't we, Casey? Come. <laughs> Take a walk, Lou. I'd 
Got a lot of money stacked up here. Behave yourself, you can get part of it. Be smart. Take orders. I like you. Whiskey? Good whiskey. Bonded. I ought to know. I bonded it myself. Yeah, you ought to know. This is just a sideline compared to my other uh, lines of merchandise. I brought you down here because I think you're good at selling and delivering. Emptying a truckload of whiskey. Yeah, I, uh, I get along. Yeah, no. I don't ever make a move, Casey, until I'm sure of my man. You're all right. Thanks. Start you off here and you do a good job, I'll move you on to bigger things. Okay? Okay. I'll turn my customer over to you. He wants 200 cases of bourbon. I like the way you operate, Casey. When does he want delivery? Well, I don't know. I'll have to contact him and find out. You do that. Come on, we go downstairs. I want to show you something. Lou! I go nowhere with him. I go nowhere without him. Let's go. Twenty-five gallons of 180 proof alcohol every hour. Twenty-five gallons of vodka. Well, some is and some isn't. Depends on who we sell it to. What about my client? Uh, the very best, naturally. Fifteen thousand gallons a month is approximately one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Not a bad side by that case. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Casey? Yeah. Johnny Cooper. Yeah. Get out on the corner of Fifth and Burton right away. I'll have a car pick you up. What for? We found a body. Could be Gladys Baker. Okay. I'll be right down. Right. Let's go, Casey. I'm sorry, Casey. Why did they do that to her face? All she wanted was someone to love her. The question is, why did they kill her? Maybe I better get you off the job. Get you out of town. You want him on a bootleg rap? That'll do. All right, but I'm going to tell you one thing. When I get through with them, maybe you won't have anybody left to book. Yeah? Dutch? Who's this? Casey. Can I see you? Where you been? I've been trying to get you. I've been busy. Listen, Mr. Martin, you're working for me. Keep yourself available. Keep your shirt on. I talked to my contact. When can I see you? Be here at 8 o'clock tonight. You're the boss. Don't you forget it. Well, on time for a change. It's good. You want to print time cards. Very sharp stuff, Casey. Very sharp stuff. Case always handed to cars a laugh. Didn't you, Case? 
Get away from me. Sit down, Lou. When does he want delivery? Saturday morning early, 5 a.m. Oh, what's he want? 200 cases of bourbon. You get the seven G's from him, he gets the bourbon. Okay, I'll see you around. Yeah, you do that if, uh, if you have time, huh? Two hundred cases Saturday morning early, five a.m. That's great. He wants the seven G's first. Mm, I thought he would. Here, Mark, Letty, make your delivery to the Sussex Bar, ninety-three hundred Railroad Avenue. We'll have a man front for you. Anything else? The boys at the lab found some fingerprints on that trunk. Yeah, who's? Casey, you'll blow this plant sky high. I've got a hunch we're gonna have to move fast now. I didn't care if everything blew sky high. I didn't care if the world ended now. Tonight, I had one thing to do, only one. You're real lucky. I'm all right. You better get out of here fast.
Hello. Casey? Yeah? Get down here right away. We've got to see you. Well, that's taking quite a chance, isn't it? Can't help it. We've got to take it. We? Oui. Okay, I'll be right down. What's the matter? I suppose I could ask you that, but I won't. Turp is conscious and crying his eyes out for a mouthpiece. He's in bad shape. He slapped a no visitor tag on him, but word will get out. Can you switch delivery to tomorrow morning? I'll try. Here, we got something for you. Short wave transmitter. Now, this is the aerial. You put one line over back between your shoulder blades and one down through your sleeve. It has a radius of six blocks. All you do is switch it on, put it in your pocket, we'll be listening. Dutch sees that, I'm dead. Just be careful, he won't. I like your confidence. Put this on just before you make delivery. Our sound truck will rebroadcast your position and your conversation to us. We're in the stretch, Casey. If everything goes well, the next couple of days should end it. Usually, a man gets by with five senses. Sometimes, he gets a sixth. I had it now. I know of 11 murders that could be traced to Dutch. As I crossed the floor to him, I had the feeling that maybe he was going to try for an even dozen. Skydiv. Boys got worried. What about? You. Why? Blue Terps in the prison ward of the General Hospital. Any idea how he got there? Or how can he mention your name in a loud voice before he passed out? We're listening, Casey. Casey likes to talk with his fists. Maybe you ought to listen for a while. Talk. Okay, Dutch. I know what happened to Gladys. So? Turp got drunk. He told me that he killed her. Then he kneeled me. Maybe she deserved to die, maybe not. I don't know. But I went crazy. And the cops came and I beat it. It's lucky I didn't kill him. That's the whole story. That's all the story? Dutch, I'm in his business to make money. I got seven grand in my pocket. If you don't want to do business with me, I'll take it elsewhere. Carlos. Put it back. Like I told you, you tie up with me, you don't make trouble. Here, wipe your face. Gladys was dangerous. You can't afford to get soft, right? I tell my contact it's no deal. Wait a minute. Who said it was no deal? Give me the money. Now he wants it tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. Tomorrow at 5 a.m. Where do we make the delivery? Sussex Bar, 9300 Railroad Avenue. Okay, 200 cases, Sussex Bar, 5 a.m. You take care of it. Okay, I'll take care of it. That's the way it's done. Pick him up. You ain't in good condition. 
You gonna make a deal with him? Well, I ain't gonna throw seven G's down the drain because you're nervous. Go clean yourself up. You look terrible. Put a tail on Casey and keep him there and make sure it's somebody he don't know. Right. I liked him. I liked him a lot. Makes me sad to think he'd try and hurt me. I think maybe I go with you in the morning. I think that might be a good idea. Shut up. Burns, Sussex Bar, 5 a.m. They're delivering 200 cases. Good work. They're nervous. A terp got word out. They uh, gave me a going over, but I think I squared the beef. Don't worry about terp. He's in a coma. He won't be talking to anybody for a while. Relax. See ya. Better be there, Cooper. My friends are still outside. I'm going out now. It's like you say. This should be the end, one way or the other. See you soon. I hope. I also hope I'm coming in clear. It's your problem. The boss wants to give you a lift. Watch the warehouse. We'll call you later. What's that for? So you shouldn't hurt yourself. What's the beef? What are you down here for? He's worried. I make money, Casey. I make a lot of money. My organization makes money because I trust people. I hire people, I pay them good. Then I expect them to work for me. If they don't, I still pay them good. Personally. I'm uh, sensitive. My feelings get hurt. What's the matter? Are you crazy? Yeah, they're not going to the warehouse. Something's gone sour. Cars one and three. Are you reading, Casey? Car three, Roger. Car one, Roger. Third and Main. All right, we're moving out. Our latest fix is third and Main. Keep talking, Casey. Keep talking. What you think, Dutch? Come on, get off the garage. Say I did. Maybe I'm psychic. And again, maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> What's the matter, you ticklish? Keep your fat hands to yourself. All right, what's the angle? No angle. Maybe I think you're not loyal. Maybe I think you're a stool pitcher. 
And maybe you're nuts. I don't know, son. I'll make a call in a little while. Maybe there'll be cops all over the warehouse, all around the Sussex bar. You think? What have you been smoking? Anyway, they don't find anything. Everything is clean. Dutch is clean. And you, Casey, disappear. The cops think you ran out of them. So maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. If I'm wrong, you've got nothing to worry about, right? That's right. Where are we going? For a drive. There ought to be a prettier place to drive than Fifth and Broadway. Cars one and three, keep close. Fifth and Broadway. Mr. Martin doesn't like the scenery. Maybe he'll be around long enough to enjoy it. But don't worry about it. You know, I don't like to worry. That's why you had Gladys killed, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I had Gladys killed. Good work, Casey. You just fried yourself, Dutch. No loose ends, huh, Dutch? No loose ends. That's what I like about you, that you're smart and you're big. You got no idea how big or how dangerous it is to try and hurt me. Pull around the corner, big. Make our call now. Uh, one question. Go ahead. How big are you? I own men and women, Casey, all over the country. I own them. Some of them like to gamble, some of them like to drink. But I own them, body and soul. I own them. Right. Carlos! Cooper, 10th and Broadway, fast! Let's go. Kill you, Dutch. Now you're gonna know how Gladys fell only with you. It's gonna take longer. Take care of that head. No, I'm all right. You sure? Let me drive you home. You go ahead. Okay. Well, we got the big boy. Now watch the rats run. Yes, it was all over. The job was done for Cooper and the rest. For me, I don't know. Maybe the rats will run, maybe they won't. Maybe I'll have a chance to do some of the things I should have done a long time ago. Helping people like Lucille and Julie. I know that I want to make something of my life. I'm going to try. I hope I live long enough to prove it.